Sun Moon and hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is just an update on the CPU T student that was stabbed. The incident that took place, um, the student was stabbed 20 times by her husband in broad daylight outside her university accommodation. So the graphic incident took place in broad daylight and it was filmed and shared throughout social media. When Dembego Mialo, who's 30, appeared in the Belleville Magistrate Court on Monday on a charge of attempted murder. A friend of the young woman said her husband had came to look for her at the residence, claiming her mother was trying to make contact as her cell phone was on voicemail. The friend said, and I quote, I went to the shop to buy cool drink and bread while he waited for her. And when I returned, he asked me if I had found her. Eventually, when Osnokolo came back, they went into her room. I was sitting outside the residence with my friends and we heard a scream. When I went to knock on her locked door to check on her, she said she was fine. But shortly after that, I saw her opening the door and she fell unconscious in front of me. Nasnokolo was carried outside and moments later she was stabbed 20 times in front of horrified students. Friends tried to put pressure on the wounds to prevent her from bleeding out but were um, threatened by the attacker. Now, the incident happened a day after UWC students protested against GBV within their institution. Now, the guy, the husband or the baby daddy is also a UWC student, okay? He is also allegedly currently facing rape charge, right? Now, EFF student command member Winim Gogo explained that after hearing about the incident, they went to visit Usno Kolo in hospital. She said, and I quote, she was transferred from Karl Bremer to Tigerberg Hospital, where she went for surgery after she had been stabbed 20 times. Her family was gutted when they heard the news and got on a bus um, from the Instant Cape to Cape Town to see her. Thankfully, she is recovering and responsive. Now, she attended the court appearance on Monday and said Mialo had stitches on the back of his head after students who witnessed the incident um, baptized him before police arrived. Now, CPU C spokesperson Lauren Kensley said that it, the institution had invested in the safety of its campus. He said, and I call CPU C has progressively upped all security across campus over the years with the installation of security cameras and closing campuses with fencing. CPU T was the first university in SA to institutionalize its position on GBV via its dedicated sexual and gender-based violence committee. This committee is chaired by the vice chancellor and ensures accountability, coordination, and leadership of the critical issue, said O'Kensley. So I guess O'Kensley goes on, was just doing EPR. Now, you know, the fucked up thing about this whole situation is, okay, you delete the wife, you delete the mother of your kids, and then you go to jail. The person that mostly suffers is the child. How is that fair? How is that fair? Do let me know, guys, what you think of the comment section down below. I will link the video to those that did not watch the video. I will link it to the comment section, so do make sure that you check that out because last time when i did the story right okay because i i assumed we would see everybody watch the video since the video was trending all over social media but that's not the case okay i did apologize i still do apologize for that and i do take accountability now when I'm Gogo also said I want to go see the victim. The victim is awake. She's getting operated tomorrow. This was like two days back, um, or a day back. She was stabbed twenty times. They transferred her to Tigerberg. This is because her husband allegedly art someone and she no longer wanted to be with him. She had then went on a date with a different guy which angered the abusive man who came to her rest to ask why she didn't tell him that she's back in her room, which is when he stabbed her 20 times. She will come in again either today or the nurses will. As I said, I am the cousin. In the meanwhile, I think it is important we have a meeting soon. Please for tonight, send your queries to any... Oh, okay, so this I think this is a group for the EFF members, Escolini and all of that. So someone screenshot this and 
yeah so like i said there was like two days back if i'm not mistaken okay so this is just a context on why to those who are asking why did maybe what triggered it you know so yeah this might be the case he allegedly art someone and the wife was like nope i can't be with someone who's a racist you know or someone who inji no wife went on a date with a different guy he got angry yeah man do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below